What's up everybody? This is your instructor Taylor and nice to meet you. Today we are going to know how to drive safely from the theory class. Okay? So if you want to drive safely, always you have to learn how to drive fast. And that is the reason why we are here as Africa Roadwatch Defensive Driving School, Safety and Mobility. Right. So I'm going to take you guys through the model tumble in details. Pay attention. Make sure you subscribe, like and share and be sure to learn. Okay? Let's go. Yes, so this is the model tumble. Before we go to the features of the model tumble, we have the rules of this model tumble. So the first rule is to use the shortest accurate route without using the parking zone. That's rule number one. Two, to use the longest accurate route without using the parking zone. And the third rule is to use the parking zone as the last option. This is the model tumble. So what's a model tumble? A model tumble is a representation of all road networks in major cities and towns of East Africa, right? Let's go straight to the features of the model tumble. But one feature of the model tumble that I like starting with is the roundabout. What is a roundabout? A roundabout is a junction where two or more roads are meeting. In a circular form, look at this. It means, if this is a roundabout, how many roads are meeting here? I know most of you will say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They are not eight, they are two. The major road and the minor road meets at the roundabout junction. Right guys? Now we have different types of the roundabout. How many lanes are we having here? One, two, three, four, four lanes. So this is going to be our ordinary roundabout. But meanwhile, we have three types of the roundabout junctions. Depending on their lanes, if a roundabout has got more than four lanes, right? If it was having five lanes or six lanes or more, it's going to be an enormous roundabout. While if a roundabout has exactly four lanes like this ours, it's going to be an ordinary roundabout. If it has less than four lanes, three, two, okay? It's going to be a mini roundabout, yes. Now we have the parts of the roundabout. If it's the roundabout, anytime you're using the roundabout, you always have to go around this in a muslin okay and we have some other lanes that cannot go around so the first part of the roundabout the most distinct feature you can see up here what is this this is a traffic island it's a pavement okay traffic island it's one of the three pavements that we have public pavement central pavement and this traffic island so the traffic island controls the movement of vehicles in the roundabout if the lanes are circular in the roundabout then the traffic island must have been also in a circle circular shape. Imagine the traffic island was a square or a rectangle or a triangle or any other shape, even the lanes would have taken the same shape of the traffic island. So it controls the movement of vehicles in the roundabout in a circular form. Okay guys, the other part that you know is this lane, the innermost lane. This innermost lane is different from the rest. The innermost lane is what is supposed to be called a roundabout lane because this is the lane that you're using to go around. Round. And the angles are 180, 270 and 360. It's different from the other lanes because if you're from this lane number 4, you can do 180, you can do 270 and even 260. It is a roundabout lane. It's the only lane that we're using to go around the roundabout. And the last part of the roundabout junction is the roundabout space. Any lane apart from the innermost lane. Any lane apart from the innermost lane. In our case, it will be the first lane, second, third lane. Any lane apart from the innermost lane. Okay, see the roundabout has got broken lines. But there's no overtaking, there's no changing lanes in the roundabout, yet we have broken lines. Why? Why do you think so? I guess it's because uh, when you're using this lane, one, two, three, four, if you're heading to the innermost lane, you're crossing the first lane, second, third, and you're heading to the fourth lane. So that crossing while entering and also while exiting. That's the reason why we have the broken lines in the roundabout. Don't change lane on the roundabout. Don't overtake in the roundabout. Going to the rules of the roundabout, we have 11 rules of the roundabout. First rule of the roundabout, no parking, no stopping, no waiting because of this yellow painted pavement. We have number four, no booting. Number five, no overtaking. Number six, no changing of lanes. Number seven, no reversing. Number eight, no overspeeding. Number nine, no overlapping. Number 10, use the correct lane to enter the roundabout. Use the correct lane to enter the roundabout and also use the correct lane to leave the roundabout so to exit the roundabout very important right another rule always observe the traffic from your right side right always observe the traffic from your right side it's a must the other rule is to drive in a clockwise direction drive in a clockwise direction if you're keeping left drive in a clockwise direction if you are keeping right like in some countries you drive in an anti-clockwise direction so always drive in a clockwise direction 
thank you guys for watching if you think that was perfect and it was really done perfectly and it's also helpful guys just subscribe for more and uh, like this video share to your friends and keep in touch because i have another lesson coming in for one-way traffic and the options okay so if you think that was helpful just like subscribe and share and comment down below bring up any discussion or anything you want me to correct or anything you want me to add or if you have any question just comment it down in the comment section below thanks for watching guys peace Oh, 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 oh,